Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we uh, arrived at Celadon City. We checked it around a bit. We went to the Pokemon. We got a bunch of TMs, let me tell you that. And we also got an Eevee, which is going to be one of the final members on our team. And uh, in this part, we're pretty much just going to annihilate the gym. Uh, so yeah, so firstly, in order to get to the gym, you will need Cut. It's a bit of an interesting thing. Why do you keep, still need Cut? You can't get here without using Cut to get to Lavender. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Now I believe there's a hidden item in one of these, but I'm not 100% sure on which one has which. Therefore, I shall... Tell you right about now. Oh, there it is. This is a PP up. It's actually much... It's much more valuable than a HP up. What it does is that you tell it to use a certain move and it will raise its PP by one, which basically means you get, actually, well maybe it does it by three. No, it's probably one. But it basically allows you to use your attack more and it's great for um, competitive, um, it's not really that great in competitive battles because you don't really use your... Wow. Yeah, so Celadon Gym uh, every single trainer in Celadon Gym is female. I just didn't know that was a selling point. Also, there's no guy who tells you, like, how to win. Also, you need cut in order to actually clear this gym. Uh, so anyway, this is the grass-type gym. You are not allowed in here. Yeah, apparently boys aren't allowed, which basically means boys are not allowed to beat the gym. Therefore, women are the only ones who are able to... Uh, beat the game. I don't know what it says in a uh, in a uh, hard gold and soul silver because you can play as a girl in that game. Oh thank goodness. Uh, I'm just gonna use peck because I know I can beat these guys with a peck. So what's the point? Anyway, so there was a bell sprout. There's actually kind of a few trainers in this gym. I'll tell you that. Uh, Birdo's level 35. That's ridiculous. I'm not even using Birdo on my end team. By the way, all of the Pokemon that I will be using for the end of the game, I can pretty much get about here. This is Weeping Bell. He's the evolution of Bellsprout at level 21. Uh, he does evolve again with a Leaf Snow, which is nice. He does miss out on Slam, though, if you get past level 49, if you, which is a really good normal type attack. Um, I would recommend it, at least. Uh, and, yeah. Other than that, there's basically just go through the gym. Oh, here's a new trainer. It's a beauty. She's a bit oddish. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I think it's kind of. Uh, you you may also notice that like for some reason in this game, a lot of the gyms are extremely. I actually, the first few gyms, there's like no additional concept, and every other game after, there's always some kind of puzzle in each gym. And I think it's, I think it's uh, kind of interesting how come the first generation doesn't really do a lot at the beginning. I mean, maybe it's just because Brock's gym is really short, uh, Misty's gym is really short, and Erica's gym is going to be really short. Lieutenant uh, Surge did have, like, the puzzle. It was kind of annoying. But you'll find out that the next four gyms do have kind of little puzzles in them. And you're also, you're also about to see Birdo single-handedly take out the entire gym. And you know what, I'm not even I'm not even using Birdo on my ending team. But he is so good right now. My makeup! Uh so yeah. There are quite a few trainers, I'll tell you that. Uh I'm using an item, even though I don't need to use an item, I need to use ducks. There are quite a few trainers. Welcome to Celadon Gym, you better not underestimate girl power. It's actually kind of interesting. You only need to fight two trainers before you can fight Erica. This person, when you walk in, and she has a whip. <laughs> cool trainer female. We haven't actually fought any cool trainers before, haven't we? Which is kind of interesting. Uh, so she does have a weeping bell. I'm just going to use drill pack on it, because why not? Uh, most of the trainers in the gym only have two Pokemon, though. It's just like that one. That one before. Uh, so this shouldn't take that long. Uh, but I do feel like there's enough trainers that will have me play. This is Gloom, by the way. Gloom's the evolution of Oddish at level 21. It evolves again with the Leaf Stone. It doesn't really miss out on anything if it evolves into Vile Plume, so... Eh. Level 36. Goodness. 
And Ivysaur. Because we gotta see all these starters eventually, so here's an Ivysaur. <laughs> oh my god, Fero! Guys, use Fero! It's so good! So yeah. Oh, there's another trainer. Oh, beaten. So what is that? Is that another four? Also, all the bushes come back! I just want to leave this trainer here. Please meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. Oh. Thank you. Uh, by the way, the, the person who didn't fight me immediately, that was the gym leader. That, that was Erica. She's just kind of standing there. Uh, this person has an execute. It's level 26. The, these are kind of high level Pokemon, I'll tell you that. So, uh, the, Erica will use level 29s. And that may be a little bit high right now. There is a side area that you can go to though, and I'll be covering that next part because that's kind of a required thing, but... Um... What? It, it is a required thing you have to do, however, uh... I specifically wanted to skip it because then I could focus on training other Pokémon. Because I, I would like to get rid of Birdo right now. Oh, snap. Here's a tip, don't click your... your control a thumbnail because then it screen captures. <laughs> okay, that's professional of me. Now you know I use an emulator. I mean, of course I use it. I'm using an emulator. The, the picture quality is too clear to not be using an, em uh, an emulator. But it's just like, it's a Game Boy. You would probably want to use an emulator. I mean, Game Boy games emulate so perfectly that, like, why wouldn't you use an emulator? In fact, we're getting there with DS. How did you know my name? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, that's a figment. That's a stay saying. Also, you have a bubble saw, a blubber saw, <laughs> a blubber saw. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised the water gym didn't actually use a Squirtle. I think it did actually. No, it didn't. It didn't use a Squirtle. So yeah. Oh my goodness, you've got an Ivysaur as well. Uh, but yeah, so, um... Uh, I'm actually gonna use a peck. I don't care if I get hurt. Oh wow, really? <laughs> okay, sure. Um, so yeah. So, you just, so uh, the only Pokemon that we have... Oh. Uh, so, e we're gonna use Eevee uh, by the end of the game. Uh, not specifically Eevee, but we're gonna use that one of the evolutions by the end of the game. Uh, we're also going to use three other Pokemon that we can get in this city. It's ridiculous. Uh, and another Pokemon which we can uh, get a very shortly later. And I do want to go for it right, right after we're done with Celadon. I, w I want to get the ending team right here. Isn't it kind of odd how, how I've planned this? Usually I would try and get like all my ending Pokemon by the by the beginning of the game, or maybe throughout the game, but for some odd reason, they're all coming up right now. Uh, besides Bulbasaur, but, you know. And yeah, this is, this is what the game is like if you train one Pokemon up the entire game. It's just a little bit awkward, because then you can't really switch out to anyone mid-battle, so you're going to be using a lot more items. By the way, yeah, that, this, is a, this is a perfectly reasonable playstyle. Training one person. Yeah, it is pleasant. The only problem is that in this game, it's always sunny. Flower arranging. I had no addition. <laughs> but... <t> <laughs> it's like, what do you want me to ask you out? Oh, well. So this is Erica. She's the fourth gym leader, which is kind of odd. Y you don't need to fight Erica, really. Um, at least not, not really immediately. Uh, she has a victory bell, which knows wrap, poison powder, sleep powder, and razor leaf. Watch out for Razor Leaf. It's the evolution of Weeping Bell with a sleep, uh, with Leaf Stone. 1,000 experience, jeez. Anyway, uh, this is a Tangler. This one specifically only knows Bind and Constrict, which is kind of interesting. Tangler has some pretty good defense and a special stat, but he doesn't evolve, or at least in this game. He does evolve in the fourth generation, but right now he doesn't. But I guess he's a pretty alright choice. I would prefer a uh, Vile Plume or a, we or a Victory Bell. Speaking of Vile Plume, here's a Vile Plume. Uh, this Vile Plume knows Poison Powder, Mega Drain, Sleep Powder, and Petal Dance. Again, evolution of Gloom with a Leaf Stone. 
it's an interesting Pokemon, I'll say that. And I think someone's just gonna watch back on this and be like, why did you just completely decimate Erica right there? Uh, now, yeah, so you're allowed to use strength outside of battle. Strength, you don't really need for a, for a while. Uh, TM21 knows, uh, learns Mega Drain. Half of the damage it inflicts is drained to heal you. Absorb does that as well. Absorb is in this game, but I think, like, only, like, some Pokemon know it. Um, but, it, it, think Leech Life, except it's an active attack and it actually does a fair amount of damage. You know, I could probably get rid of Vine Whip and replace uh, replace it with Mega Drain, but I just want to make sure that I don't learn any better moves by the end of the game. Uh, so yeah, I just beat entire the entirety of Erica's gym without getting hit. Without getting attacked. Chief, we just shipped 2,000 Pokemon to slot prizes. What the heck? The slot's just real in the dough big time. What the heck? Come on, get, get out of my way. I can't escape. I can't get out of here unless if this guy moves. There you go, thank you. What do you want to say? <laughs> As I walk outside, yeah, that's great. Don't touch the poster at the game corner. There's no secret switch behind it. Oh, thanks for the advice. Uh, you want to head in here, by the way. The man at the table lost it all at the slots. I, I actually do like this restaurant. My Pokemon are weak, so I often have to go to the drugstore. Translation right there. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Yeah, I won't be needing this anymore. This guy gives you the coin case. If you're going to uh, play in the slot machines, you're going to need the coin case because of, uh, there's a basement on the game corner. Okay. Because uh, unfortunately, there is no coin case that you can get for the game corner. I, he he blew it all at the slots as well. The rocket game corner, the playground for grown-ups. What the heck? Um, so anyway, if we head inside here, welcome to the Celadon Game Corner, yeah! By the way, talk to some of the people, you will get coins from them. You can get a total of 160 coins just by uh, asking people, and you can also get coins just by like walking around and picking up stuff. That was actually very nicely led on, if I say so myself. Um, so yeah. Uh, and also, I believe if we talk to, not you, not you, none of you people, these people will not give you anything. This person will, will give you 10 coins, I believe, and I think maybe you? Well, it said rocket out the front! Also, yeah, it said some of the machines have different odds, but that's just... Yeah, rare Pokemon. <laughs> of course it's rigged. By the way, I don't, I'm not encouraging gambling in real life. As much as some of these people do, and in fact, it's kind of a bit of an odd influence for kids, and rightly so, it's actually kind of fun. The trick is to win! Uh, but yeah. Now, we've got quite a few coins. I'm gonna jump on one of these machines. Yes, smiley. Now, this is the slot machine. You can bet either one, two, or three coins. If you bet one coin, you can, o you can only win by getting the center three, uh, the middle th of each slot uh, correct. If you've pick. If you bet two coins, you can have either of the top or the bottom sides as well as the middle, and if you pick three, you can also have the diagonals count as winning. So, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna try and win. This is gonna involve some really, really drastic jump cutting, I'll tell you that. But I would, I would like to win. I would really like to win. It's a lot easier to win in later games, let me tell you that. Like, especially with the berry bonus in Ruby and Sapphire. However, the gambling was taken out in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and I think European Platinum as well. Uh, but yeah. I am doing so good. I can't, I can't. I <laughs> Yes! Eight! <laughs> Yo!
Yes! <laughs> In real life, slot machines uh, actually rig the payouts. So it try it does take like more money in than it will give out. I think it gives out 80% of the money that it takes in. So technically, yeah, you are doomed to lose in a slot machine. Uh, in this game, I don't know if they do rig it, but... I do know that you can kind of win it. There is a little bit of skill involved, but it's just like, they go so fast, I can't work it. Oh, yes! We do have to remember, I started with 150. Yeah! Bank Bonanza! <laughs> I, I'm actually very surprised I got that. The, 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 getting all three sevens is a very good reward. Um, Bank Bonanza! So yeah, um, I'm a little bit hesitant, though. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna calculate something. Okay, so if I need 50, uh, sorry, if, if 50 coins cost a thousand dollars, then it costs twenty dollars per coin. If it costs twenty dollars per coin, I need 2,500 plus 4,600, which is 71,000, uh, 7,100, uh, stuff. Multiply that by 20, I need 142,000 dollars worth of coins. So I'm gonna keep playing, but I think the worst part is that I need to make money at some point. Oh sweet. Um, I, I didn't actually find out where to do stuff, but basically I need to end up with 7,100 coins. Now you may be wondering where do you get coins? You can ask the desk to get coins. They cost you can buy 50 coins for a thousand Poke bucks, uh, which sounds like it's enough, but unfortunately, it's I, I do not have enough money for it. Although, we can get some more money later on. But yeah. These, by the way, the gyms are so quick, like, I'm just like, yep, just gonna go on the slots now. By the way, you may notice that sometimes when I stop them, they just kind of keep going for a bit. It's because they do rig it. it <laughs> like, it does stop when it wants it to stop. Yeah. But slot machines do that anyway. Like, look at that. I'm lining up like two sevens, and then it's just like, nope. Yeah, it, it's lining up two sevens for me. It's just like... It usually does try and do that. It lines up like two of them. Oh, well. Yay! Yes! Hey, where's my regular payouts? Here they are. Yeah! I did it again! So yeah, I need 7,100 credits by the end of this. Oh, sweet. So we got a bar, bar gives you a hundred. But the bar is pretty good. So yeah. So yeah, uh, if you get the sevens, they give you 300. If you get the bars, they give you 100. If you get either of the three Pokemon, you get 15. And if you get three berries, you get eight. The berries are kind of just like, yeah.
Yes! So basically, it's this, over and over again. Uh, now if you talk to this guy, this guy will be, it's a thousand coins, uh, it's a thousand Pokebucks for 50 coins. Technically, I can afford what I want right now, but I'm a little bit hesitant to spend all my money in one place, but then again, I kind of need the thing I... So yeah, so this person will be, you can exchange your prizes next door. Um, so we're going to do just one thing. So we're going to go in next door and we're going to see what our fabulous prizes are. If you talk to this person, this person will give you either an Abra for 120 uh, coins, a Clefairy for 750, or a Nidorino for 1200. The Nidorino is very not worth it. The Abra is okay. I mean, it's not really that expensive when you think about it. That's like, that's a, like two fifths of getting the triple threes. Uh, the Clefairy, Clefairy is pretty rare, so I guess if you need a Clefairy, this is probably an easy way to get it. But a Nidorino, no, that's too expensive for a Nidorino. Now on the middle desk, you can get a Pinsa for 2,500, a Dratini for 4,600, or a Porygon for 6,500. These are the, uh, this is the only place you can get a Dratini and a Porygon, I think. A Pinsa you can get a bit later in the Safari Zone, however, this is an alright moment to get it, uh, considering you can't get to the Safari Zone for quite a bit. Uh, and on the next desk, we have... A bunch of uh, TMs. You get TM23, which I believe is Dragon Rage, TM15, which is Hyper Beam, and TM50, which is Substitute. They're so expensive. I I don't think they're worth it, even even in competitive play. Um, like they they cost so much. If a coin is worth 20 Poke Bucks, multiply this by 20, and that's how expensive it is. Yeah, this is going into the 150,000 region. It's, it's very expensive. However, if you note, what here adds up to 7,100? Why? It's Pinsa plus Dratini. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then.